So what is going on guys, my name is Mehul and welcome to your 8th Angular tutorial in which you're gonna take a look at something known as NGIF. Now this is one of the things which Angular team has changed when moving from Angular 2 to Angular 4, right? So there has been some changes in syntax and some new things have been added. So it will be interesting to look at, right? So let's just begin. Now, from Angular 2, if you remember, or if you have, uh, you know, any sort of experience with that, ng if is pretty much like if your condition evaluates to true, then display that thing. Otherwise, um, obviously, don't display that. So right now, if you take a look, I'm in the app component, and uh, the application is running on my PC. So what I can do is simply go ahead and create a div which says this works. Simple as that. And as you can see that this works now what i can do is actually write something like asterisk ngf and this asterisk ngf you don't need to worry a lot about this asterisk it's just syntactic sugar it just uh, decodes into a more uh, template sort of syntax later on angular would do that for you you don't need to worry about that so ngf now here goes our condition which is a boolean result literally right so what we can do is uh, for very simple things we can say one equal to one and uh, you can see that the app is set on automatical reload so it probably works right let me just move it down here okay so if i write if one is equal to two you can see that we do not get that because this is obviously false right so this is a very basic usage of ngf now let's just see how you can create something like uh, um, let's just say um, visible we can say right and again visible is not defined so let's just go to our app and say visible is equal to true and this works and if i change it to false you can see it, it doesn't work right so what we can do now is that we can just create a button here which says something like that when we click on this button that particular button on the screen then we can just toggle this visible from true to false or false to true accordingly so a very simple simple implementation would be writing button click and again i haven't actually explained this this button click why we are writing this in brackets but uh, i'm just going to explain that later on so just stick with me and uh, just remember that you need to put that event in bracket right now uh, what we can do is now write our function name or we can just do it right here as well but i'm just going to create a function which says toggle div right and we can say toggle just like that and now we can just go ahead in our uh, component and right here we can say something like toggle div and then we can say this dot visible is equal to this dot visible right which just essentially changes its value from true to false or false to true accordingly right so if you take a look if i click on toggle you can see that our div pretty much toggles between visibility visibility true and false because of this ng if right here right so with this what we can do is uh, we can get deeper into what angular 4 offers now which is the if else kind of statement inside this ng if itself so what angular 2 does is or angular 4 rather now is that it provides you with something some syntax like uh, div ngf um, your condition if it's true then what you need to do then a template right else another template now essentially if you write something like this this div would actually never appear on the screen right so let's just go ahead and create a template now a template you can create a template essentially with ng template for angular 4 now um, angular has deprecated this template because uh, it has been introduced in html 
as a standard tag and it will be actually pretty much included in future releases of the browser so with ng template you can create something like let's just say um, work or um, odd clicked and i can say odd number of clicks <clears throat> and i can create another template even clicked and uh, we can say even number of clicks right and right here what we can do is uh, we can get rid of this button and say that uh, or rather we just want to need that so if ng if is visible then odd clicked else even clicked right so first of all our button is visible so um, actually that means that we have zero clicks right now so this should be odd clicked right and make sure the spelling matches yeah so if the button if visible is true which is indeed right now then show the even click template otherwise show the odd click template right so <clears throat> right now it says me even number of clicks if i click on toggle odd even odd even odd even like that so if you take a look in the dom then you'll see that we are not getting this diff anywhere in the scene, right? But what happens if I, or actually, as you can see as well, we do not get this works anywhere on the screen, right? So essentially, this diff is not in uh, DOM tree if you are making use of then. But if you do something like just uh, else, right so in this case it would show you this works and our number of clicks and now you can see that inside our dom for the visible when visible is true we are getting the div inside our dom and uh, when the odd click template is working then we are not getting that div we are just getting the template right here which we have defined right so either way whatever you like you can go ahead with that I'll just pretty much stick to ng templates as well only because it kind of uh, makes things clear and explicit so yeah that's pretty much it for an introductory tutorial for ng if and uh, we also have ng4 which we're going to take a look at later on in the series so yeah that's all for this one and if you liked it then don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching i'll see you then in the next one